can't memorize all of this gram positive and gram negative bacteria. <laughs> Hey Pod Squad, I'm Diksha, welcome back. I'm a third year podiatric medical student at CSPM and today we're going to talk about microbiology. So let's be real, there's a lot to learn with microbiology and so I wanted to give you all resources to make it easier. But remember, disclaimer, these are supplements to what your professor has already given you in your courses. What do all students swear by the most? You're probably going to know exactly what I'm talking about. It is Sketchy Micro. Now, I wish I listened to other people when it came to studying with Sketchy Micro because I waited until right after my course and I was starting to study for my boards. That's when I started implementing it. Please start now because Sketchy Micro, it might feel like a lot. Give it a test run. You will definitely like it because there's so much, so much imagery and so many easy ways to remember things and they all start connecting to each other that you will remember material a lot better that way. When I think about an organism like Staph aureus, right, I can think of exactly where in the image I saw a specific person, what they look like, what that represented, what the color meant, and all of that plays a role because when you're studying your material in your classes, things might seem important and you might only focus on that, but then when you come to the exam, you might see a question you may have not studied at all, but then the image that you saw in Sketchy Micro will spark something in your memory. And that has happened to me so many times. And let me just say that helped me a lot on the boards. Just to add another extra detail. And so when you're trying to memorize things, remember that there is another guide as well that comes with Sketchy Micro and that lists everything out for you. So while you're watching the Sketchy Micro lectures, you can highlight on that, print it out, highlight, and you could also add more notes so that you could better remember the details. Now the second resource, first aid. I know we basically say that for everything, but it was created for a reason. <laughs> so first aid has an entire microbiology section. The reason why this is important is because, wow, it has it just has all the right acronyms and mnemonics for you to, again, be able to categorize material because that's the hardest part about micro. There is so much, for example, as what I said in the beginning of the video, there's all these gram positives and all these gram negatives and then there's viruses and all of those things. And in order to remember them, you have to remember them by specific, specific words, vocabulary, and that's also a way to differentiate them. The way to do that is honestly, you can check out first aid for that and it has great material. So your lectures might help you, but in order to help more, this is how you do it. Additionally, I just remembered, I wanted to mention, I take a lot, or I did take the notes from the microbiology section that I found pertinent to what I saw in the sketchy micro supplement guide. So I would just add on, and those were the notes that I had. So everything was in one place when I studied. That puts everything together, otherwise information's all scattered. If those resources weren't enough, we have a third resource option for you. It's deja vu. So this comes with microbiology and immunology, so it's a two-in-one. So the good thing about this is that all of these resources, all everything that they have in here, all the content is all in question form. So question answer. The good thing about that is yes, it has mnemonics and it has different ways of remembering things. But most importantly, the best way to learn material is actually through questions. And I know it's something that's uncomfortable. A lot of us don't like doing it until we know material for sure. But trust me on this one, this is the best way to remember material. I have done a lot of research on studying methods and research has proven time and time again, questions are the way to go. So. Again, utilize this if you'd like more questions to prepare you. Hey, okay, hopefully all of this has helped you and that you can use these resources. Just let us know in the comments down below how you like them. But make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you're notified of all the cool videos that we're about to post. Again, we like to post a lot of informative videos and vlogs, and hopefully we can help you more with courses. So again, 
Thank you for watching and Pod Squad signing out. Thank you.